Chase Series Select 141J by Jayco. Here, uh, what, 3,105 pounds at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a uh, camper that we're actually looking to sell for some folks. Um, the uh, current individual, uh, current owner, I don't believe had had it real long, purchased it from a private individual, so at least two previous owners. Um, there is a little spot where there's been some water on the floor inside. I'm going to show you that when we get there. And remember that we don't try to hide these things and we hit the, uh, you know, we hit things right head on. All in all, pretty nice. These, these are hard to find. When you find one in any kind of fair shape, they tend to go pretty quickly. All of your, uh, I, I just don't think it was ever used very much because all your tent materials and stuff, they're in, it's all in good shape. I don't see any like water stains where it was put away wet and abused. I don't see any holes or, or punctures in the canvas or anything like that. Looks like uh, up on the roof, they did install an air conditioner. I think that uh, some kind of like uh, bike rack system up there because there's a matching rack on the other side. Out here, uh, oh, by the way, we do have water heater, we have furnace. Uh, we do have an outside shower, aluminum wheels. The fellow even, geez, look at that, even put down his little wheel chocks and everything. This does have a bathroom. That's something we can take a look at when we're inside. Uh, looks like somebody put on a uh, uh, aftermarket rear bumper on here. Um, I don't see where like an original had failed or anything. Maybe they just wanted one that looked different or was a little bit heavier. Um, I've, I like the uh, the rear trim they were doing uh, on these Jayco lightweights for a while. They've moved away from that, and I always thought it just had such a cool look to it. Uh, normal pop-up style awning on it, nothing too fancy there, but most of the business of a um, high wall pop-up, which is what this is, it's a bigger high wall, um, is inside. I do like the one-piece entry door there, though. It's it's just much more natural and organic, and it's big guy friendly. Because when you're walking out of the camper, you don't want a um, a door handle down here by your knees. You want it up here where it you know belongs, really. So I mentioned there was a spot of water on the floor inside. Let's go ahead and uh, get, knock that one out and talk about that. You can see the discoloration on the floor right here. Uh, when I looked under this cabinet, because I wanted to know the answers before I, you know, did any of these videos, you see there's the, uh, that hose and that goes back to the pump right there. And that exactly corresponds with this little trail of water right here. So it looks like, um, maybe an, a winterization wasn't completed a hundred percent or properly at some point. Um, the, uh, there's absolutely no problems of walking on the floor there. You can walk all over it. There is a little soft spot here. And a, I mean, it's small enough. I gotta find it. Hold on, where's it at? I can't even find it right now. There's, there's a very, very, very small spot here. Obviously, even knowing that it's there, I'm having trouble locating it. But, um, you know, there's the, the hard, honest truth of this one. So as long as you don't mind something that, frankly, is cosmetic, and frankly, had I not mentioned it, you probably wouldn't have noticed it. There's not a whole lot to be scared on with this camper. This is a, a, a very nicely equipped big high wall pop-up that is hard to find now over here this is your bathroom it can fold down to be extra counter space but it actually folds up and has like hard wall enclosures and you can kind of see that uh, curtain up there sort of um you know bridges the gap between the ceiling and the wall enclosures now we have a uh, a nice ceiling vent here for airflow and ventilation then we have the nice air conditioner over here to get that real good airflow that nice cold airflow um let me back up a step i'm kind of going at this the backwards way from what i was thinking um we do have a dinette slide out here, and it gives you that extra space and room. I mean, you know, it makes a, such a big pop-up, makes all the difference. And this is a freestanding table, so you can kick that table outside for a picnic table if you want to. Um, uh, the uh, wraparound lounge here, you will see storage all the way through that. There is like a uh, um, furnace under here, though, so uh, you won't get um, storage all the way around that side as well. Now, a full microwave here is something you can't really put in most traditional fold-down campers because you don't have enough wall height to do it, and that's one of those benefits of going to a high wall. Uh, looks like we got our Jensen AM FM CD player there, so you got some entertainment. And a double sink is something that's very rarely found in pop-ups. Usually you have just a little single. And along with that, a full oven, a bigger refrigerator, and extra countertop space. These are all the benefits of going to a high wall camper instead of just a normal traditional pop-up. Um, the uh, bigger refrigerator especially, you're going to be in and out of that thing all the time. So. That's kind of, that's this one here in a nutshell. Um, not 100% perfect, but they're also not asking 100% perfect money on it. So there you have it. Give us a call, 800-256-5500.
5196 Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you kindly. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everybody.